Hey, people. Intrate, February 3, Catrian Privication Plant Blue Team. It's double Farseers. We have Funny Man to You and EM7. These are support heroes fighting in melee with some powerful buffs and control abilities alongside. Rounding off the team, Draktan is a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero walking through objects and cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption. Just breaking everything over there. On the red team, Zoranda with a Lord General fighting in ranged combat by default begins with a retinue of stormtroopers. Say hello to Derek and Nigel can add to this retinue as a bunch of defense and support alongside. Schmooze operator with a commando knob, infiltrating hero that shoots you, stabs you and blows you up. Orkistow begins with a twin link shooter and rounding off the teams. Greenvin is a Lord Commissar, strong offense and support fighting in melee begins with a refractor shield Lord Commissar is on the west side against one of those Farseers. Sentinel trying to chase her off there. But she did grab the VP. Meanwhile, back to the mid. Commando Nob just kind of hanging out. Sluggers don't know what they're doing. Okay, they're going to go follow the Commando. They tried to murder some Eldar on this side. Both the Farseers hanging out here. Banshee's coming in for EM7. Got Funny Man for you with triple Guardians. And there's all that firepower they can bring. I do not see Guide up. Maybe it's been used already. Well, Commissar is dealt with. And I think they can... Yeah, all together they can out-damage that Sentinel's repairs. Here we see Guide thrown onto those Guardians. Starting ability of the Farseer buffing their range and damage. Farseer does get away. What's going on east side? Chaos Lord fighting the Lord General. Derek and Nigel bravely helping to kill a heretic there and standing up to a Chaos Lord. He now goes after some guardsmen. Gets a special attack. Does not replace the heretics yet. They've got noise marines on the way. CSM trying to fight stuff in melee. But they are more than a match for those guardsmen to all flee. But not... Derek and Nigel, look at them go. Oh no, one of them's died. Done. Who was that? I think that was... I think that was Nigel. Derek's okay. Meanwhile... Farsi in on the commando knob. Catechin Devil's on the way for Zoranda. Not sure what kind of melee damage the commando does, but looks like the Farsi is winning this fight. Still trying to smack her pretty good though. Farseer of Funny Man comes to contest the victory point. But the Sentinel's going to have a go. There's Guide up on the Guardians, and we have Rangers on the field of Funny Man. Rangers on the way also for EM7. Did they not have more Guardians? Oh, a bunch of dead stuff over here, look. A bunch of Shoot the Boys died there. Commando is infiltrating. Can't cap under infiltration though, they will be spotted. Looks like everything's too far away to shoot them. A little bit of a flank coming in though from EM7. Guide thrown on the Guardians. Shooting the Commando pretty good. These guys though could not get that Lord Commissar down quickly enough. Farseer also runs. He did grab the wreck point. Commando. Is he alright? I think he's going to be alright. They could push on to that VP now maybe. To the east side, heretics have been replaced. And these guys found themselves some grenade launchers. Noise Marines doing their thing, shutting down ranged attacks with their sonic blaster and also doing some pretty good damage. There's the cacophony to knock things down. But they're getting very low. Nigel is back in the retinue. Just had a bit of a nap. Grenade launchers are bad news for Guardsmen. Looks like they've gone for Havocs now. Smart choice on this relatively narrow east side against the Sentinel there. Banshees, sneaky, sneaky Banshees coming through to bash the power. Meanwhile, west side, there's Guide on a Guardian weapon team with a Shuriken Cannon, which is a nasty combo. Spotters on the field for Gringvin to help deal with the rangers and the, and the weapon teams and stuff. Here we see a smoke shell dropped in. 
Hard to tell if they've been affected by it though. The Shuriken certainly wasn't. Maybe those Guardians were. It would be nice if, nice if there was some kind of effect on units that were affected by it. That's just a mortar shell. You can see the effects of that. Well, Kamasar throws up the shield, but they are trying to run face first into a shuriken cannon. It's not going to work out. East side, is it kicking off? Yes, it's 2v1 versus the Chaos Lord of Draktan. Need to be very careful here, trying to focus down the sluggers. Okay, they're off the field. Where are they going to use their grenade barrage? The Chaos Lord tries to burn things. Oh boy. Oh boy. Rangers. Not Rangers. Noise Marines wiped. What the heck happened? The grenade launcher came in from the Catachans, but they seem to take a lot of damage really quickly there. Maybe this was not paying attention to them. I was trying to see where the heretics were going to fire their grenade barrage, but those Noise Marines got melted. Havoc trying to set up here. Are they going to focus the Sentinel? Let's look where they are. And here comes Shotgun Catachans and a stun bomb. The main, uh, Banshee is getting very very low to go down. They got stomped. Stomped pretty badly. The M7 down to two squads. Funny Man to you has six squads. Six units up in tier one. Very, very heavy on that west side. More Howling Banshees for EM7. Eternal War for these Chaos Space Marines. 20% more damage. And that Combi Flamer Rumble is nasty. Sluggers don't have their burners. Is it just going to be double shooters in Tier 2 for Schmooze Operator? Looks like it might be. And there's that Immolate. That is pretty effective when they're all bunched up like that, eh? Yeah, that's nasty. Orcs dealt with. Chaos Lord has to flee, though. Rangers are getting shots. Meanwhile, west side. Tons of Eldar stuff. Where is it all? Where's the other Shuriken? Oh, it's there with Guide. Look at that firing arm. Can the Farseer get the decap? Looks like they're going to get a decap at least, unless these guys can knock her off. There we go. Oh, they dropped it back there. They did not get the Farseer off the decap. Seems like they're relatively confident they could just get it back though. Lord Komasar shows up. Any war gear? Nope. We have spirit stones for EM7's Farseer trying to help those new banshees maybe. And stick bombs for the commander knob which is always fun. East side power is blue with a node. They've also got this one with a node. That's going to make a big difference over time. I don't think they've been bashed. In fact, I don't think anyone's been bashed. We see a little bit of damage over here. West side is still uncapped. We'll come our through the shield up to get that wreck point decapped as well. We now have a missile launcher sentinel. Can switch between crack and frag missiles. Frag missiles is the one you saw there with a barrage of anti-infantry missiles. They can get crack loaded in to deal with vehicles. Plague Marines on the way for Dracta. Manticore on the way. Weird Boy on the way. Rangers taking big chunks with Guide off of that Sentinel. Guide is now worn off though. Farseer couldn't get the cat in the mid. Shooter Boys. Having a bad time. There we go. They're, right. They're going to get away. You guys get suppressed by it. Oh, he got too close to the Havocs. It's a good spot for those Havocs, eh? Covering this nicely. But now they're covered in stick bombs. Looks like they'll make it out. CSM getting very close to stuff there for some reason. Almost wiping on retreat to those grenade barrages. That is nasty. Weird boy warp vomit coming in on the Eldar. Who tried to get in with some banshee action, but they are sent packing. Looks like they're going to be okay though. Farseer gets stomped. Not happy with what happened to her howling banshees. I guess she wasn't close enough to pop the spirit stone seal. Spiritual right is what it's called. 
375 to 426. Chaos Lords have had enough for this Commando knob, I think. Going for the Icon of Corn. So you may see them switch to the Lightning Claws. Since this gives health per hit and the Claws attack way faster. Kill the Weak is pretty good. Not sure if they're going to stick around for too much longer. Yeah, they have to go. Red team taking the west side back. Stubbornness up for the Lord Commissar. Here comes the Shuriken again. They have really dealt with double rangers and double shurikens quite well. No, single rangers, sorry. Double shurikens. Not sure how. You always see, I only seem to see one shuriken at a time. Okay, here comes the other one. Don't put them together. Manticore is up for Zoranda. Yeah, they're putting their shurikens way too close to each other. Oh, there we go. It's diverting. Sentinel is down. I didn't realize they got a new Sentinel up. Whose Sentinel was that? Was that Green Vins? Because Zoranda still has theirs. Yeah, Green Vins. They're on that side. Havoc. This is going to be close. They do get away though. It's a decent let the galaxy burn as well. Got a fire theme going on here with the Chaos Lord. On the west side, VP's blue, but these guys were caught on the front foot there. Maybe they were trying to get the... Trying to get the power bashed. Yeah, this is the center that had the missile launcher. That's right. Now I'm remembering things. Lord Commissar be capping, and Commissar is level 2. What about you? Level 3 over here, got Melter Guns going in. Good day, Medical Sergeant. And Derek and Nigel also get a Melter Gun, so they're very excited. There we go, look at that. How much damage they do? 12 DPS Melter times 3. I assume they will have the same Melter Gun. But I could be wrong. Plague Marines. Helping to shoot down gens, and there's some corn worship. Manticore. Only. Oh, a couple of hits. CSM now must flee. Corn worship doesn't help you when you are retreating. Yeah, they got to back off here. There's a grenade barrage. Decent hit. These guys are all being buffed by the melter guns, by the way, with fight harder. He just forgets to yell that when he doesn't have his melter guns. I think it's written on the top of the melter gun or something. Fight harder. Bunch of tier threes. Not sure if anything's queued up by Funny Man. No, nope, nothing was queued up. Power bashing orcs now coming down to the southwest with burners, and they know how to use them. Banshee's coming to have a word. With Guardian support and now How and Farseer support. This is a level 3 Farseer with armor of Assyrian just put in the time field. And Gravity Plague coming in too. She gets 200 health from that as well. East side. Heretics need to run. They did not run. Plague Marines are going to get easily outshot here. But they bought some time and here come CSM with Slaughter and all of a sudden they do not want to be in this fight. They were trying to get into melee with Slaughter active but they, they seem to be really low just coming in. Didn't keep them at base long enough I guess. Draktan down to two units. Did they get Manticore or something? Might have been a big old Manticore. I hear a time field. Oh it was the Levitation Blade. Sorry, levitation field from the gravity plate. Shuriken's still here. Wartark is here now. Jumping into the back lines. Commissar falls over. And Wartark gets swarmed by orcs. She's going to be okay, I think, with an executioner in. Fire Prism on the way for Funny Man. Draktan is in Tier 3. And they do have a whole bunch of red there. They could get Terminators soonish. 
294 to 401. Fractan says, I'm going to Abon, Aboned left. What? I don't know what that means. They're letting the guard through the right side. I'm trying to grab this power. That would be helpful. It's got two gens on it that they didn't pay for. Meanwhile, though, their natural power is being bashed. They can drop in terminators and haven't done so. I mean, I know there's, I know there's plasma guns and stuff, but terminators do pretty well, I think, otherwise. Get the Chaos Lord in to tie things up. Oh, we do have Terminators. Here they are. With Combi Bolters and Power Fists. They can kill Guardsmen very quickly and get that debuff stacking. Bane Blade on the way for Greenbit. Double Flash gets up for Shrews Operator. Here come Banshees and an Autark and Timefield. They got a full bash though and a decap. So that kind of sucks for them. Trying to finish off this Sentinel with a the teleport there. Can they do it? They can't quite do it. If they ran, because they do fire on the move, they might have been able to get it there. If they ambled after it for a bit. Lord Commissar back to their feet. And the Commander Knob, level 4, takes the wide route down the west side to see what's what. Rangers will spot him though. They know how to look for we sneaky commandos going us. very wide. They're going Where after the fire mean? prison with the rocket launcher. Can they get this done? Rocket launcher's so powerful. Autark's gonna die. Now's the time to go for it. Bunch of Daka. The fire, the fire prison's quite committed forward here. Still hasn't gone for it though. Here we go. They were microing elsewhere. Weird boy and stuff to micro and they're doing this as well. Defending the mid. I want to see what this commando can do. Can't get too close to those rangers of course. They're still on the prowl. They're running out of energy here. They can't stay infiltrated forever. Here we go. They were trying to get a good angle. One more shot would do it. Not sure they can do it though. There we go. Down they go. Did not get the fire prism. A nice attempt. There's another fire prism in the mid. This is EM7s, yeah? Yep. 235 to 375. The poor commando died. And it, it's going to be tough to revive them over there too. There's that demoralization from the Chaos Terminator kills. Looks like we have a full retinue now for the Lord General. Got the medical sergeant, got the box operator, got the commissar. And soon, Nigel's going to pop back in. 235 to 360. Main blade is here for Greenbin. Bad news for the fire prison, but here comes Plague Marines to help out. Chaos Dreadnought now for Dractan. And they get this Bane Blade down here. There's double fire prisms. That was an Emperor's Wrath dropped in off map artillery. They're gonna get it. They do get it. Plague Marines making a big difference there. Levitation. Tosses aside the Sluggers. Double flash gets with blasters. Falling over. Human Russ on the field for Zoranda and it's got a Vanquisher cannon. And we have double level 3 plasma guardsmen too. That's a lot of damage for those terminators to deal with. Looks like they got hit, hit, hit pretty hard by something. Seer council up for funny man. Capping. Oh, trying to cap. They provide a damage resistance for a ranged fire, which they themselves benefit from. It's this blue aura you see here. They usually do pretty well, I think, Seer Council. 
Chaos Lord got melted under range fire there. They did get their claws up though. And we have a Mark of Zinch Chaos Dreadnought. Took a bunch of damage from the tank over there. And the Melter Gun Stormtroopers and Lord General too. And that fight harder means that those double plasma guards are pumping out some serious damage. Lord Kamasar trying to cat. I might be able to as well. Remains of the Bane Bladers. They should be able to use that for um, heavy cover, I think. The vehicle wreckage. Lord Commissar gets the cap. Well done there, Greenwood. Level 4, this guy. Another Bane Blade on the way. Maybe they've learned their lesson now. Don't roll your super heavy tank past the VP. See a council creating some space. They're going to get a decap off it, at least. Time field doing some work as well. She wants to steal the bunker, I think. Yep. In the law of Warhammer 40k, if you get into your building, it's now yours. So be very, very careful about who you invite around. And she runs, and they just steal it back. 223 to 356. Even Russ taking missile launcher shots. Look at the melt on those CSM with fight harder active. That's nasty. Had the chin stealing the power. The power gen seemed really spread out over there. West side. Can the double fire prism stop the cap? Orcs are just running forward. What are they doing? That was weird. Eldritch Storm comes in. You'd think that would go after the Lehman Russ, but I guess not. They really wanted those Orcs dead. I don't know why the Orcs ran forward so much. They might have just misclicked trying to trying to attack a unit. Here's a Bane Blade. And now a Manticore for Greenfin after it. Eldritch was just used, but of course there are two Eldar players. None of them can drop a nuke, but Greenvin doesn't know that. 223 to 319. The power in the mid turns blue now. Can they put a node up? Not at the moment, they're not. Dractan's level 4 Chaos Lord with claws. And now we have a Reaper Auto Cannon Terminator squad. Mando getting some good hits on that Dreadnought. He's then persuaded to run away, I think. Bunker's down. What is the fight? What is the fast here doing? Oh, she was psychic storming. I thought that was the other fast here using levitation field on nothing. Avatar of Cain on the field. Who's this? That's funny, man. Also some provide some really powerful aura buffs. Infantry on that side, on the blue team. Gonna be buffed up a lot. Picking off in the mid. There's the fight harder. Melted those heretics. Time field and the loop though. That's nasty. Very nasty combo. They got the Lehman Russ as well. Must have been very satisfying for Tractan. Took advantage of their allies' time field to drop a nuke in. And that was painful for them. Commando's on the way now for Schmooze Operator. And Stormblade on the way for Zoranda. Do they take that thing over to the west side? Meanwhile, Banshees of EM7 are bashing power here. Lord General not pleased with it. Oh, they lost all their retinue, aside from Derek and Nigel, of course. Power bashing over here with some Let the Galaxy Burn and some claws. Why not? Blue team sensing blood, trying to do some damage while they can to economy here. Manticore Strike comes in. And an off-map artillery drop as well. They don't have amazing tools to use against Terminators, the Red Team, well, other than 
you know, lots of firepower, which they can obviously do. This fire prison might be done for. Yeah, Bane Blade took a hell of a lot of damage, though. There's a Bright Lance back there, and there's still one fire prison. Dreadmore is a threat to it as well, but it's being chased down here. Seer Council, what is your target? They're just running on through at the moment. Stormblade. That plasma blast gun and the, the Seer Council white. EM7 obviously paying attention to something else. Maybe that fire prism over there. Meanwhile, Avatar has found the Lord General and he flees immediately. Fair enough. What is Heretics up to? Heretics Doom Blasting and there's some corn worship. Oh, to benefit the Plague Rains. Wailing Doom. You've got to keep moving. You've got, you've got to move your, your Plague Marines between shots manually. There we go. Shoot and move, shoot and move. Kind of like the snipers. Not sure if they're close enough to get another shot now. That knockback. Heretics did what they can. Stormblade has stopped. He knows that there's enough firepower to deal with the Plague Marines now. The west side is uncapped, by the way. There it is. Lord Commissar with all of those stubbornness buffs going on. Avatar. Not sure if it's worth walking that guy back to to heal. And to go strike. Are they aiming for the D cannon? Doesn't look like they are. They don't know where it is exactly. There's a friendly barrage. Had the chance of going for the VP, I think. The treadmill doesn't seem that concerned. 223 to 187, another avatar on the way for EM7. Kicking off on the western edge. There's a psychic store. Mainblade taking a big, big hit now. I think it's all right. I don't think the fire is going to chase it all the way back to the mid though. Stormblade has pushed up a lot. And that's a lot of plasma for those. Terminators. Rocks dropped in, trying to get this D cannon and the uh, Dreadnought. Dreadnought took some big hits there. Six hit points. Survives. 210 to 187. Stormblade backing off a little bit. Avatar taking swings on the Lord General there. Level 7 this level. Having to replace their box operator though. Chaos Lord can't do much against the tank really, but can slaughter some guardsmen. Killed that fella pretty good. Oh, that was a special attack. And then leaves. Avatar could maybe get one or two hits on rear armor. Nope. Oh, the fire prison does. There we go. West side, still uncapped. Nobody can grab it. There's a D cannon. And the Bane Blade will have a Demolisher cannon as well, which makes it hard to cap. Avatars going after it. In fact, two Avatars will go after it here. Single for the red team. Rosters for everyone, still pretty stacked. Double Avatars kind of getting in each other's way here. That's kind of slowing down that one. That guy had a really bad day. Calm down, Mr. Avatar. I see an Eldritch. Stormblade has been got. But I think it's going to be safe for now. The General runs in to bravely tie up those Plague Marines there. Oh, and then, and then Bravery leaves him. He backs off. Stormblade survives though. There's a Lehman Rush alongside it as well. On the west side, it's blue. 175. 2175. That 
Dreadnought is still up, I can't believe it. Level 2, well done Dragtan. We got some more Terminators. Those guys are back at base, they need to get moving. Banshees are yelling, EM7's down to two squads though. With another Fire Prism on the way. These guys chopping up the shooters. Might be worth just letting these guys go down at this point. I mean, they are level four. Bunker dropped in. Most likely a repair bunker for that storm blade. These guys are repairing the bane blade by hand. And it's more flash kits for snooze operator. Double flash kits, double commandos. A fierce ranged fighting force. Two to one cap here. Guarding weapon team on the way for Funny Man. Most likely going to get Bright Lance going. Maybe EM7 as well. They've got a lot of vehicles to deal with here. Bring Vin with double manticores. There we go. How are the blue team going to get... Sorry, the red team are going to get the VP back. How is the blue team going to get back on it? Oh, maybe the Stormblade won't stay here. Red Team can't get it back right now. Weird Boy's going to have another go. Is that overcharge? Nope. That was a regular shot from the Stormblade. Weird Boy gets the cap, but they can't cap. Fire Prism says no. I thought the Red Team would get it back. And then it would be tough for the Blue Team to get it. Red Team are decapping Blue Team's natural right now. Absolutely crazy fight on this west side. Bane Blade is going to go down, I think. Tons of repairs. That's a lot of firepower. Down it goes. Maybe should have got it moving backwards quicker. Rox has dropped in. Here comes some support from Zoranda. Rocket run dropped back there too. Absolutely insane ending. Red team maybe gonna get the VP. Nope. See a counter gun flying in there. 166 to 109. Red team have the double. Who was it that got this? It was some pathogens, I think. Eldritch into a wailing doom. Bloody hell. Poor bastards. I don't think they actually wiped anything there. In Zoranda's army anyway. Not an has gone down. All three red team heroes are down. In fact, only EM7's Farseer is still up. Out of all the heroes, they're getting their VP back here. Red team keep the pressure up though. Stormblade is really far forward. Really far forward. damage them from the Terminators. It didn't drop a model as well. Big blob cap here from the Orcs. There we go. Let's leave it to the shooter boys. 116 to 109. Prime field. I thought maybe they were setting up an Eldritch there, but looks like they're setting up super long shots from those fire prisms. Down it goes. Plague Marines get the last hit. Prime field doing work, as it usually does. 108 to 109, it's so freaking close. Red team with a 2 to 1. Blue team are starting to reel, actually. These big attrition fights typically don't do well if you're an Eldar player. Insane fight again here. Is that a double Manticore strike on the VP? Almost whacked the Terminators. Dark Creepers on the way for Funny Man. Are you guys looking for a grenade? There it is. Didn't hit very well though. Heretics running in alongside a Seer Council. And they may have done enough to get a decap. Weird Boy can knock at the Moffat maybe. Depends what model he aims at. There we go. 
That was a good enough shot. Stormblade says hello. Another Bane Blade on the way for Greenbin. Yeah, they have both of those natural, uh, those contested power points, I should say. Let's see, Council couldn't get the decap. Anticorp. Good hits. Almost got both of them. Oh, they did get both of them. That was two Manticore strikes there. I think that might be the nail in the coffin of the blue team. Because those fire prisms were doing good work. The Dreadnought is still going. Is this a new one? This must be a new one. Did we see the Dreadnought go down and I just forgot? But yeah, that's definitely a new one. Level 7 Chaos Lord. Came through in the end, that Chaos Lord. They also lost some Terminators along the way. 34 to 109. Blue team are going to get the VP back. They didn't think they'd get it back again, but they have. Terminators getting it done. Standing in some fire. Red not needs to be careful here. Looks like it's going to be okay ish. Double Manticores are loaded, ready to go. Another fire prison for EM7 on the field. Guarding weapon team on the way. Left out is flash kits. First one's level four. So much knockback on this side. Imperial Abyss trying to stop the cap. Wipes out. Something. Was that Shooter Boys? I think that was just Shooter Boys getting wiped there. Blue team holding on to the 2-1. to one. They've done so well since the double the double Fire Prism loss. Here comes a Land Raider Phobos now for Draktan. Big old booms. Draktan getting some lag. Probably just their frame rate dying from all this terrain scarring here. Eldritch. That's a really good Eldritch. That killed a couple of Orc squads, I think. Oh, maybe only one. It killed one of the Flash Kits and it stunned the Bane Blade, which is now getting repairs. There's Psychic Storm. And then the Farseer gets blown to death. By the catechins, was that a really a shotgun blast that killed her? That was awesome. It's blown away. Phobos on the field. Are they gonna drive it all the way over here? Maybe they'll try to push mid a little bit. They're running out of time, whatever it is they're trying to do. Red team have the west side. Can the blue team get it back? It's gonna be tough. Rocket run. Almost got the dreadnought. That's a foot of war. Madness. Down to 12 VPs. Here's the land red of Phobos finally. Finally got to the middle. They're trying to go after the storm raid with it. Maybe. They're going to try to take out the repair bunker, but they're running out of time. Running out of time. I wonder. I wonder if Draktan got something up that was quicker because I think Land Raiders are like 75 seconds build time, and the time it took to get here. I wonder if they could have got something else up that would have been more effective with maybe going after the VP here. Who's to know? We didn't have the red for more Terminators. We had a level five Farseer, a level ten Farseer. And a level 8 Chaos Lord. Level 10 Lord General for Zoranda. Level 8 Commando. And a level 10 Commissar. What an awesome game. Epic stuff. Very close at the end. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.